Good morning, Bradley Beach. This is Mark Nejma. I'm running for mayor in your town, and I would like to be your mayor. Uh, I want to give you as much information about me as if we were having a discussion between the two of us uh, between now and November. First, I'd like to tell you that I do invite people to my home every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, I happen to love tea and honey, so come on over for a cup of tea and honey and just to discuss politics with me. Uh, I'm not a big sports watcher. I don't really watch professional football, although I do like college football occasionally, and usually I just watch that uh, while I'm working on my computer. So when you come over on Sunday, uh, the television will not be on. You, there won't be any disruptions. And I really want to hear from you what you would expect from a mayor um, in Bradley Beach and what you would expect uh, a mayor to accomplish. So I'm willing to listen, and to be honest with you, when I started uh, applying to run for mayor, I really didn't think that I wanted to or that it would be sensible for me to do it. But now I want to be your mayor. I want to win. I want to win because so many people uh, have made the comment uh, that he should never be mayor. You know, I've run big organizations uh, that I've grown myself. Um, I see that there can be so much improvement in this town. Uh, with my work with job creation, I think that it doesn't really matter until you get into the political realm and start to have some recognition in terms of implementing uh, what you believe in. Now, I've applied at City Hall for a November 3rd job creation rally right at Riley Park. Uh, I'm going to invite all the local politicians from the area that are running for office, any congressmen, uh, senators, uh, state senators that are running for office, I think it's appropriate that we bring people together and start to discuss what can be done in terms of job creation, which is the major issue in the country right now. And even though this is only a small town uh, on the seaside and it seems like everyone is employed and everyone's happy, uh, I think it's an issue that we have to take on because there's definitely an extensive amount of spending um, and that spending is going somewhere and that should be tracked and we should look at everything that's that's happening. I'll give you an example. Uh, code enforcement in the town. It's a part-time job. But yet, the code enforcement person is driving a brand new $40,000 uh, truck. Uh, that to me doesn't make any sense. You know, why does it have a municipal tag? Why is it a $40,000 truck or plus? And why do we give a part-time employee this perk? Uh, I think that these are the issues that, that have to be taken a look at. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not interested in taking things away from government employees, but I think that in order to manage a fair system, uh, we have to look at how government is managed. I mean, too often, and I was a contractor for years, you're just afraid to go apply for a permit. Uh, everything is very uncomfortable when you deal with the government. It shouldn't be that way, and it definitely should not be that way here in Bradley Beach. Uh, I've applied to have a, um, an event on November 3rd. I hope you'll attend. Uh, I hope that other pol political uh, candidates will attend as well. Uh, I just want to try to keep you up to date with what I'm doing, and I appreciate your time very much. This is Mark Nejma. I live at 414 North Avenue in Bradley Beach, New Jersey. And I really appreciate the time you take to take a look at my video logs. Thanks.